Hi guys, so in this lesson we're going to look at the parametric form and Cartesian equation of a line. So there's two more ways to write the equation of a line that we're going to look at. So we have our vector equation of the line, that's r equals a plus lambda b, this form here. So the first thing we want to do in this question says write this in parametric form and Cartesian form. So we need to be able to kind of move between the different forms very well fairly easily and I think if you understand how they work, that's pretty straightforward to do. So let's go with the parametric form first. Remember I said in the previous lesson, a nice trick is to think of, it's not, it's not a trick, it's actually what it is. Think of R as X, Y, Z. That's what R is, it's the general position vector, if you like, it's, a, it's, a, it's all the points, or the position vectors of all the points. So, this can just be written as 1, negative 2, 3, plus lambda 1, 5, negative 4. Fine, same thing, but x, y, z. Now, to write this in parametric form, all we're doing is we're saying x is equal to 1 plus 1 lambda. x is equal to 1 plus lambda, 1 lambda. Then y, y is going to equal negative 2 plus 5 lambda. So y is equal to negative 2 plus 5 lambda. And finally, z equals 3, 3 minus 4 lambda. And we're done. That's it. That's the parametric form of the equation of the line. So that's pretty straightforward. Once you have this, it's easy to, to put it in this form. The Cartesian form is slightly more tricky. So well, it's not that hard, but remember, a straight line is an infinite number of points. It's a way of writing, or the equation of the line is a way of writing that line so we can connect the x-coordinate, y-coordinate, and z-coordinates. So you might try to, you might try to come up with a way of, of writing with just x, y, and z, like, well, there's various, imagine you had x, not, not for this line, but imagine you had something like x plus 2y plus 3z equals 4. If you draw this in, well, let's do that right now in GeoGebra. If we draw this in GeoGebra, what we get is um, x plus 2y plus 3z equals 4. This is actually the equation of a plane. And we're going to see this. We're going to study planes in more detail in the next few lessons. But that's the equation of a plane. So I can't write a Cartesian equation of a line like that. So what I do is, and what we do, is we say, right, well, we're going to actually, and this is why it's called the Cartesian equations of a, of a line, because there's there's a two equal signs, if you like. The way we're going to get this is we're going to make lambda the subject in each of these little equations. So let's call this A. This is the parametric form. A, parametric form. B, Cartesian form. So in Cartesian form, I'm going to make lambda the subject here. So lambda is equal to x minus 1. And then here, I'm going to make lambda the subject. Lambda equals y plus 2, add the 2, divide by 5. And here I'm going to say lambda equals z minus 3 divided by negative 4. Now if these are all equal to lambda, then these are all equal. And I can say x minus 1 um, equals y plus 2 over 5 equals z minus 3 over negative 4. So this is the Cartesian equation, or Cartesian equations of this line. And this is a, another way of writing this exact thing here. And this will actually, if I have a point, so let's say I have a point that's on the line, like, let's, let's make up a point, 2, let's say 2, 1, 0. If this point is on this line, then when I sub in 2 for x, 1 for y, 
and zero for z, this will equal this and it will equal this. It'll satisfy the equations. However, if I sub this in, I'm gonna get two minus one is one. If I sub one in here, I get three divided by five, which is three fifths. And if I sub in zero, I get three quarters. Three fifths does not equal three quarters and it does not equal one. So this point is definitely not on the line. Okay, example two. This time I'm going to, well, I, I've given you the same equations of a line, the Cartesian equations of a line, and we're going to go backwards. So we're going to write this as a vector equation of a line now. How do I do it? Well, as I said, we're just going to go backwards. We're going to set this equal to, we are going to set this equal to lambda. So I have x minus 1 over 1, if you like, equals lambda, comma, I have y plus 2 over 5 equals lambda, and I have z minus 3 over negative 4 equals lambda. And then I'm just going to write it x is equal to 1 times lambda is lambda plus 1, lambda plus 1, comma, y equals multiply by 5, 5 lambda minus 2, and then um, z equals negative 4 lambda plus 3. And if we go back to this here, do we have the same thing? Um, x equals 1 plus lambda, minus 2 plus 5 lambda, and 3 minus 4 lambda. Yes, we do. And yeah, it's probably better that I do write it like that. 1 plus lambda, um, y equals negative 2 plus 5 lambda, and z equals 3 minus 4 lambda. So this is my parametric form, and then I can um, change this into r equals 1, so I have my 1, negative 2, and 3, that's my position vector, 1, negative 2, and 3, and then I'm going to do plus lambda times uh, 1, 5, and negative 4, 1, 5, negative 4. There we go. So that's going from Cartesian, Cartesian form into vector equation form. Easy. And this way is going from vector equation form into parametric form and Cartesian form. Now, last thing I'll say is when it's in this form, one of the nice things about this is you can kind of see straight away the position vector, like this form, the position vector is um, 1, negative 2, and 3, and the direction vector is 1, 5, and negative 4. So you can kind of read it off straight away. I still recommend going going through it this way instead of reading it off. If you have a situation where 0, the direction vector, has a 0 in it, then you won't be able to just read it, up, read it off nicely. You won't have a 0 underneath the line here. You would just have, um, well, imagine, let me let me give you one example. So imagine we had r equals, let's just go one, two, three. Let's call this example three. So imagine we had not one over two. Imagine we had r equals one, two, three plus plus let's go with t t times um, let's say we had 2, 0, 1. Now what we do is we say x equals 1 plus 2t, y equals 2 plus 0t, which is just 2, and then z equals 3 plus t. Make t the make t the subject, so I'm going to have t is equal to x minus 1 over 2. Here, t is equal to y minus 2 over 0, so we've got a problem. And then here, I have t equals z minus 3. So in this situation, there is no t. I cannot, I don't have a t because it's, there is 0 t. So the only way I can write this equation is, I can say, um, x minus 1 over 2 
x minus 1 over 2 equals z minus 3 over 1. And then just you have to do comma y equals 2. That's the only way to do it. You can't um, you can't put an equal sign here because y is always equal to 2, which just won't satisfy the other two equations. Okay, that's it. Hopefully that makes sense. I definitely want you and need you to be able to kind of go between, happily go between the three and be confident and comfortable with the three. So in, in you could get a question where they give you this, that you can get a question where they give you this, you can get a question where they give you this. And, not, and I don't just mean a question where they say, turn this into this or turn this into this. I mean a question of, of some type where they're, you're just dealing with this, so you need to be you need to be comfortable enough with this um, with this form and this form and this form that you can solve uh, whatever the problem that you are given um, without worrying too much about um, what form the equation of the line is in. Okay, hopefully that makes sense, and I'll see you in the next lesson.